we got creativity a team Every song that we show me I'm back in my day Uncle Percy, you're real king Clean Brown, legend in the media team Best comedian for the scene Big up Chris Savage, no soft like cabbage Everybody your favorite team Shut the f*** up Somebody <laughs> call me who are leaving Alright guys, welcome to the Ray Today T Show My name is Christopher Savage and I'm here with man like Kane Brown Yeah Uncle Percy in there. Yourself, man. All right. So today we've got a special guest today, right? And the reason why I'm bringing him on because this is my party. We okay. brought him on, Chris. Did we bring him on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a collective effort to get him. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're bringing him on, yeah? <laughs> he is the founder of Body Taping and the creator of the Black Tape Project. Right now, we're going to bring on man like Mr. Draken Blackheart! Yeah, yeah, yeah. From you, Woodward. Respect, Drax. Respect, yeah. That, was a, that, was, that intro was big, bro. Yes, <laughs> that, that, that intro was big, that intro was big. I was about to do backflips. Bro, the, the man owned everything. The man was like, he owned this, he owned yeah, that. Man. That's big, bro. Do you know what's mad, yeah? So who, whoever don't know you who's watching now, mm. what is it that you do? Um, I'm known for pioneering body tape on people in an artistic way. And I've kind of like gone viral and I've retired my family and become successful Boy, off kid. of electric That's just what you call levels. Uh -huh. No, I can rate that. And you know you say that. people, is it models or any type of? Anyone that can pay me, I'll tape. Really? Wicked. Any size, any color. Yeah, but hold on, so, yeah, but this is the thing, because I've seen it online. Mm. I have seen it online, but I didn't quite understand it. I thought, you know, like when you see the tape, and I thought, hold on, is it like, has he got a label like Versace, or is it like, you know? Do you yeah, understand what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, I didn't understand. It's, like, yeah. it's a fashion house, but a product line, more of a product line than a fashion house. Yeah, so, but so because it's a, a unique piece. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. I, I sell tape, and then you apply it on yourself the same way I do it, but. Like physios. But it's similar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's mine. Yeah. Nah, that's wicked, man. So, so, so people buy your tape to try to recreate what you've done as well? Or to create their own. Wow. Well, so most people paint, right? And they'll yeah. buy paint to paint whatever they feel. You don't have to paint like fucking Van Gogh or Picasso if you yeah. don't want to. And your main job, you, you started this all obviously all in America, right? You're from yeah, America. I'm from Miami, yeah. Miami, okay. And what's your background? What's your nationality? My parents are Cuban. My mom's Cuban. My dad's Cuban as fuck. Rough. Right. There's a okay. difference. Have you ever been Cuba, lived in Cuba? No. You've never been Cuba? Never been to Cuba. Wow. My father was a rebel, so we're not allowed. Oh, yeah, because it's the. Rasta, we're hybrid rebel. Chris, <laughs> <laughs> you introduced him. Remember you said that you invited him to the show? <laughs> I got friends with that now. <laughs> All right, people, so right now we're going to bring on some examples of Mr. Draken Blackheart's work. So if you could bring them on. I was just here working with Dempsey and Cami. Hello, Dempsey. Hello, Ruby. Cami. What in the name of Selatiap? <laughs> Selatiap? Hello, Ruby. Hi. You all right? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, this is amazing. I, lo I love the design. Man. So, hold on. So, wait a second. Mm. So, this is, um, like... It's black electrical tape that it's I make. Electrical. I make the tape. You black make the tape yourself? Yeah, it's, a, it's body safe. So, so you... hold on then, though. Just a quick question. When you don't take it off, you take off your hair as well? No, like it's not. It's wax. not that strong. No, it's probably like softer than a bandaid. <laughs> so, but what about when they move? It won't come off, though. Yeah, it's it, it's got, it's got a shelf life. You know, if they sweat or perspire, it'll cause a problem. But I have I have waterproof tape as well that I just made. That you did. That you designed. I I, I I have this non-toxic, non-residue waterproof, water resistant. So what? Yeah, but there's certain parts that do get wet, edit. And it'll hold. It will hold. Three rocks to Really? Enough. It'll hold. Yeah. You know, I said the whole lot of no, it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 she don't I don't understand. I just, just understand pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you need to know the word pretty. No, oh, no, it looks amazing. Well, like, good. Do you girls feel comfortable in it as well? Yeah. 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 How does it feel on? Can you move? Mm. It actually feels more secure than a swimsuit. God, it is. It really? Yeah. Chris, would you get yourself tape up? I was going to ask you the same. Would There's you... no budget, guys. <laughs> Would you do it? You mean to tell me, sir, you want to have three 
pretty ladies at your house, Chris, if <laughs> him would have brought it. So let him pop in. This is fantasy. That's no, right. Are you What's the matter with your kid? No, I'm only asking. I know you like second toes because of the last episode. So. <laughs> and bottom. He needs the access. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was just asking if it was comfortable. I know Chris likes. Technically, it is because I compliment their body. Slows with their movement. It's not like mm -hmm. aggressive. Okay. It's not like constricting, but it's tight. So they feel secure. That's good. It's, it's and, and is this the first time you guys have done this tape thing? Yeah, yeah I just met them all today. Stop oh, looking really? at me like, all today. Stop oh, looking really? at me You like met that. them today? Today. You. Hold on a second. Ross. How does this work then? So do they message you? Do you message I'll them? announce that I'm in the city, and then if anyone shows interest, I'll screen them, and then we'll collaborate. Then just turn up. Yep. I've known her for years, but never met her. Right. We've been talking about coming and working, but I live in Miami, she lives up here. And then I met her from the casting post. I've been following her for years, so it was kind of like, holy shit, I'm working with her. Because yeah. I never, it was like, we just kept missing each other. Yeah. But she worked with a magazine that I worked with many years ago, so it was just kind of like, people that we've but, seen, kind of like how I see you guys, but, never, but I met you all today. You know, so I have a company, right? Huh? We will stick on. Cut and wool. You guys want to start your own? Me. You. Forget about them two. <laughs> you got to take, take off the gloves. because Don't the worry, we will take off the gloves. Just to put on cut and wool. All and no parts them. Wait, cut and wool? Yeah, like... <laughs> <what's>, <laughs> who give you a job? <laughs> Weird. Why, why cut and wool, though? Because you might already have sell a tear. So, yeah. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> So this is your bed. This is two oh, hours. Man, man. Man. This is your bed. Jesus. As a matter of fact, we open up the box. I have a special drink. Ross. Yes. Hold on, wait. This one. T there you go. You don't know what this is? No. What is it? Egg eggnog? What no, this is. What you mean? You don't no, have no, no, this no. famous one now. This is Percy's world famous Guinness punch. Tipsy Guinness. Tipsy Guinness. Tipsy Guinness. Have you, had, you know Guinness? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guinness, have you, have Guinness you ever Guinness been to Jamaica? Yes. No. You ever had Guinness punch? No, I've had uh, uh, jungle juice. No, what man. Do you, do you jungle juice. No, 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 no. Jungle juice. Yeah, What's jungle I don't juice. Know. <laughs> you know, America, Americans. That's yeah, like, that's yeah. like some slave juice. Slave <laughs> <laughs> juice. No, it's ice. It's ice. It's ice. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Oh my God! Come here, come here, come here. Oh, did not. Oh my God. That is so hilarious. Ready? Yeah, go on. Tell me what you think. Give them the cup, man. Give them the cup. So basically, man. it's like Guinness with like nutmeg, cinnamon. Oh, yes, please. Uh oh, exactly. Oh, no, God, it tastes, yeah. it tastes like a Jamaican Christmas. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what you guys, like. you guys want. Do you guys want some? Try it? Yeah, we'll try it. We'll try it. It's like a Jamaican Christmas. <laughs> You're oh, the other yeah. one, still no. It's like decorating a, uh, a palm tree. Oh, my God, that's delicious. You see? Thank you very much. Exactly. Yeah, it's like a baby. So it's not lumpy. That's what it is, is it? Yeah, yeah. Lumpy. It's so lumpy. lumpy. So basically, it's, it's ice in a heat. Yeah, it's just, it's just ice. It's nice. The ice is nice. Oh, that is delicious. Yeah, it's exactly. delicious. Take your time, because I don't want to no, forget John Cannon. There's, there's rum in it. There's, there's, there's white rum. It's there's nice. like. Why are you like that we have a secret? No, I'm not saying everything, mm. but vanilla, um, Who does nutmeg, put vanilla in here? I want some as well. And Percy even giving you the ever giving you the ingredients. <laughs> I know, I know what he puts <laughs> in there. Yeah, they can't I know what he puts in there. It's really good. Call. He's never, you've never given him the ingredients, and he's telling them like, 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 the chef is oh, this. Oh, right, the chef. He will know. Pass, pass. This is the chef. Cup clean. No. This one's clean. This one's clean. clean. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, make, make it taste a little bit. Right. <coughs> Tell us what you think, chef. It's nice. Right. See the real boss here? Yeah. This is the chef. Yeah. It's like a Jamaican mm -hmm. Christmas. Mm -hmm. Come like on, chef. decorating a palm tree. What's in it? 10 out of 10. Oh! Oh! See the chef. <laughs> see the chef. <laughs> Yeah, it's proper. Yeah, it's proper. Yeah, it's proper. <laughs> That's a bit, like, Percy makes his own juices. I approve. Yeah, with mm -hmm. like. Um, Thank you very much. What with like um, sea moss? Ooh, this and, tastes good. Yeah, yeah, sea moss. Man. Yeah, yeah, but he's like all natural. Ashwagandha. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> See, we know about that. Yeah, do you know things? <laughs> <laughs> but you're quite, you're quite a deep person, though. Like on the surface, people don't realize. Like, I have you're... no idea. They think I'm just. Hold on, kid. You forget the so... cameraman. Oh no, he's gonna oh, no. finish this. <laughs> you guys no, no. Let's go. Have, uh, oh, yeah, sorry, camera, go, 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 go. All right, wait, hold on. The ladies gotta go, so say goodbye. Uh, ladies, thank ladies. you very much. Yeah, I really thank appreciate you coming on and showing us thank you. Thank you. Oh. Nice meeting you, finally. Love the art, by the way. Thank you so much. Mm.
So I'm coming Very back. Nice I'm coming back for the, the Glamour Awards and the Finish Awards, which is the 6th and the 7th of November. Bye bye, ladies. If you're in this town, nice. now, if you guys nice want to come with me to the awards, because I'm taking like a little squad. And then also, if you guys wanted to do like a like a street shoot, like a guerrilla style. Go terrorize the roads, yeah. fur coats, and then we just boom. Maybe do the uh, London Eye, a subway, um, oh, uh, like one of the trains. Oh, I want subway shots. I've Get in a cab, that. and everyone's just kind of like. Listen, losing I'll, the, I'll hold the. Um, I bet you'll hold everything. I'll hold the bag. Yeah. You'll hold the cab. <laughs> you'll hold. You drive the fucking thing. Yeah. You'll hold the door on the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Chris just wants to be there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I need a bus from catch there that day there. What day are going on time? Yeah. <laughs> Where I come back for the Fetish Awards and the Glamour Awards, which is November Fetish 6th and 7th. Awards. This is his blood clot subject now. See your car, this yeah. is him. Uh, you can go with me, but you gotta wear that outfit you were telling him about. Yeah. Oh, uh, you got a mask and shit. Can I mean to like, oh, see, no, no, listen to me. Mm. My company is all if him marries them, not man. It's for oh. women. It's you know what? It's only for women. I'll explain, it. yeah. It's only for women, he you said. You know instantly, instantly, right? All right, I'll let me tell you. I'll throw it like, is that? Hold on a minute. Morel is human. Human. <laughs> Wait, you're drunk already? <laughs> no. That, no, she said it exactly the way you did. Yeah, exactly. It was exactly. laughing. No, because you're, you're a preacher. You speak from the diaphragm. Yeah. 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 So basically, in Jamaica, a W and an O is H-U. Yeah. So, so repeat that for me. Woman is human. It's like saying what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> what? Oh, that makes sense. So, so that's why Jamaicans have like, so it's a hua instead of a yeah. 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 So it's like, oh, what is going on? They go, what a one. Yeah. And then you cut it some more, it's what one. I'm yes. a white yes. woman. <laughs> what a one, what is going on? Yeah. What? Go do it again. Go do it. Wait, wait. One more sip and do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I so much I can't do it now. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? More H, more H. What's going on? Hold on a minute. Take another sip of your drink. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. one. Which one's yours? This is so sweet. Oh my mm. God. Hey, which no, one's I, yours? I was a girl, so I'll just take oh, it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it's not as lumpy okay. as anymore. What? Yeah, yeah. what? <laughs> you see, see? Right, the, the, the <laughs> that? The the rum now. That is not what I'm going to get. Cancelled. No, you're not. You 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 you're not. 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 you I, I work with all types of body types, so I don't really have like a style. Yeah. Tattoos, thick, thin, tall, yeah. small, short, big big boobs, no boobs, fake yeah. boobs, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like if I take you to, if I took the three of you guys to an event that I'm doing, and you I'm all going. have different tastes, you all have different tastes, you will like something or someone mm. because have, I'm very do, diverse. Do you have chunky? I like a bit of thick. I'll find you a couple. So not much. No, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, I no like problem. No fit. problem. You should yeah. see my DMs every day. Really? Hundreds. Of you know you types. remind me of me back in my DMs. <laughs> you had DMs back in the day? Why are you laughing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I know this. Let me tell you why. You had DMs back in the day? Yeah, exactly. Me, you also have my spears. My spears. <laughs> you knew coding? You knew the codes? You used to put the music in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the the <laughs> when we used to burn the road and we used to have a lot of marrel, Woman. Woman. There you go, right? <laughs> I used to have so much female friends staying up the bed. Naked. Did you say taping up the bed? No, steer. Stay. Stay in the bed. Lay down. Sleeping in your bed. Hush up. Hush up. Listen to me. Mm. Right. We're right. trying. We really are trying. <laughs> I've never tried so hard. I used to have so so many women. I might need you to text me all this. Yes, ma'am, I'll go text you. <laughs> I lay down and watch movies naked. You were naked and then watching the movies? What are we naked? Just slipping and sliding. But you know, we just have self control. Yeah, that's what I do all day. You can look at the tune tune and your door rise. You know that we're there? That is like me back in my days. Don't yeah. come around me, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so don't yes. leave your girl around me. Yeah, play for real. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
So you guys met through the internet and stuff, or yeah. you've known each other? He was like MySpace. You know about Model Mayhem? Of course. No, right. about that was the beginning. Mm. Mm -hmm. if, you were, if you were in the scene, you were a Model Mayhem. You know about yeah. that. So have you always done this, um, Ruby? Um, no. So I... I did Ruby Doops. <laughs> Oh my god. Just a little complicated name. Ruby Doops. Ruby Doops? That's your nickname. Alright, Ruby Doops. Ruby Doops. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, so I was I was in uni, I did music in uni. I was teaching for a bit. I was teaching at a university. Wait, 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 wait. You was a teacher? Yeah. I would have never left school. Remember us. A teacher for music? Yeah. Wow. But what instrument do you play? Or is it singing? Uh, I sing and I play a few instruments. I was actually teaching like a theory class, so it wasn't like teaching kids to play music. I was teaching a university class like about theory of music production, something really Okay, else. like oh, our well, theory, music theory. You can still sing now? I, I'm not singing right now. Give us some more. Give us some more. No, no, we can give you some more. We need some more. If Ruby starts singing, she starts seeing some vibes cartel. Middle man. Middle man. So, um, so, okay, so you did a uh, master's, um, sorry, not master's, did you yeah, do... I did a master's and then I was doing like teaching... Oh, you did a master's? ...on the side as well. Oh, um, and then, yeah, I, I started doing... What's just going on in here? <laughs> that sounds like a good bathroom. Isn't it? Yeah. I think I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, sorry, Ruby. Um, and then I did... Ruby Doops. Some, Ruby Doops. So, um, I started doing like TikTok and then a bit of like OnlyFans content on the side. I thought, oh, mm. fuck it. My, my ex at the time was like... Really into that kind of stuff. He was like, you should do this. You should sell your feet pictures. He was saying, so he you was doing foot pictures. No, he was just encouraging her to do what? What type of foot pictures? Foot pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, they get the excitement. You should, you should do like. Yeah, he's a he's a toe man here. Bindom, <laughs> which is financial domination. Yeah, for we spoke about this, Chris. Well, so you done minute. that as well. She can do it though. No, wait, 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 so wait, wait. She's wait, a femdom, so she dominates. No, men. not femdom. Yes, dom. yeah, that's what Chris. That's the one femdom. Femdom's different. No. Femdom is when you're just dominating men. Yes. Femdom is financial domination. So you did Findom? No. Yeah. So she finds men that are simps and takes all their money. Chris, we and spoke the men, about this. Yeah, and the men get their kicks off by paying there was, we, we saw one story <coughs> and this guy said that he's going to take out a $50,000 loan. Mm. And she was like, she, I think it was Australia. And she was like, wanted to keep him around as a customer. So she was like, no, no, no. 60. She looked at his finance. No, she looked at his finance and said, oh, just get one out for 25 because then she'll keep him for longer. Mm. Yeah. And he took out a loan. So people, hold on, sorry, wait, wait. Of course it's going to work. Chris, <laughs> would you make a, oh, would you, hold on, wait. See, but, but listen, uh, we got to look at Ruth for a <laughs> second. They can't even talk. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, we got to look at Ruth for a second, yeah? Ruth is well spoken. She will get those men. She will push out. <laughs> But where do you? <laughs> but where do you find them? Do you sign up to like a they website? They come to her. Is it? They come to her. Yeah. It's yeah. the platforms. This was years ago. So it was on Twitter. Mm. It was on Twitter, and it was yeah. My ex partner was like, do this, do that, and I didn't think anything. That's about me. It. I'm quite young. That's you must me. know him. <laughs> I would do that with my girl. I would say, film. I film her feet for her. I help her out. Basically, that mm. was that. It was. It Such was a like stand-up guy. <laughs> Um, so we did that, and then my TikTok blew up. I worked with the side men really quickly, and oh my fucking god, I was not prepared for like how <coughs> big wow. everything would get really quickly. It was ridiculous. I got like thousands and thousands of people go onto my OnlyFans like overnight. It was <coughs> there was memes of me like all over the internet. We're talking about like six, seven digits monthly. It was it was ridiculous. For you, you was making six digits a month. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like. Watch him, you want to Yo, 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 but think about it. Six digits on the first of the six digits. Like, just 100K is still six digits. Yeah. It was, it was but it was totally by Fucking accident. Man. Like, a lot of, there are a lot of girls that sort of don't have that kind of success. But I got picked out to be in a Sideman video, like, straight away. And my TikTok blew up straight away. And I just, like, happened to be the right place, the right, right time. Um, you know how right many people. podcasts you guys have done? Oh. She's making 100K in one Then I was like, fuck, I can't go back. <laughs> Everyone's seen all this kind of shit. I got a homegirl that makes 50K a month stepping on cake. This is what, Shut the fuck listen, up. You really? say look away, another. You see me and you, bro. I'm, I'm working with you, you know. I'm she makes so you're leaving the show now. Oh, she'll business, step on the bro. cake and then she sends the mushed up cake to the highest bidder. Like, honestly, like, no bullshit. She can literally take this tape off and sell it. 
Yeah, because men want to lick it and stuff, do crazy shit with it. They might fucking frame it like a jersey. You know, you know men, men are magic, though. No, men are, men are sick. Don't you... Right, the amount of money women get just for selling their knickers. Dirty <laughs> knickers as well. The you dirty ate... all your knickers are, the You ever heard about that girl in America, the one that was selling... Is that why you always broke? I researched it. Chris, keep coming. I need 15 pounds. Just one more time. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's what I'm going to stop. This is no knickers, baby. Yeah. <laughs> He's collecting them all. Yeah. He's got them all I've hanging on the clothesline no, outside. I've the... been researching the whole fetish industry because there's money in it. Mm. No. So she calls them simps. Yeah. They're called simps. Yeah, the you dominate simps. them. Give me money, you bitch. Right, what's, the, what's the most amount you've got from someone? I, I mean... Or a good amount, then. So, let's say, like, so on my OnlyFans, someone talking to me, they can easily spend, like, five, ten grand in a month. Me, God, me, of course. That's just, just, over just to talk. Just for just to talk. Yeah. Most of the guys on OnlyFans just want to talk. They just want to have that, yeah, that feeling of someone that gives a fuck. And they're really just talking about how horrible their real life is. Wow. Have you ever done any, like, porn on there, or is it just feet? I did in a while ago, but I stopped doing it. Oh. And I made way more money. Was it, but was, you, was it with this guy that is, or did he allow that? Did he make you sleep with other... No, so, so I... I Most think of it's it, solos. I, oh, it's yeah. so solo. A lot okay, of that's Percy's department. There yeah, you go. I did it with my partner as well, um, but after I left that relationship and I sort of got a bit older, I thought about what I wanted to do in my life and kind of thought, mm, maybe I wouldn't have made these decisions on my own. Yeah. So I stepped back the, the level of the content I make to right. something that I feel comfortable She quadrupled with. their numbers, and the numbers when she stopped doing the. I'm erotic. telling you, and you know the reason why? You know that men. Something that they can't quite see is more valuable than something that they well, see. Not to everyone. Well, you, I was, you, guys, you, I was you, like, he's past that stage. You <laughs> <must> <laughs> see. He's the one buying the cake. Like, I want to see what you ate for dinner last night. <laughs> 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 All right, so how did... Uh, so, all right, so you... So I knew, I knew him from Instagram thing. because I started getting invited to tattoo conventions. Right. So okay. by doing the tattoo conventions, I started meeting more girls that had tattoos, and then I was more girls with tattoos were popping up on my feeds. Right. And then I wasn't like I have an OnlyFans, but it's mostly like behind the scenes of what I do with you black tape. OnlyFans. I'm not nude or anything. I just it's I, human tape. I, I broke the content. I broke her the content. So our DMs aren't like, hey, Poppy, how you doing? No, it's more like, <laughs> it's more like, all right, who do you guys want to see? Or like, oh, do you have any Ruby Hex? I'm like, okay, cool, a, a thousand bucks. And then they'll be like, okay, cool. And then we put the content together. And then we have a question for you, right? Fuck up. Can you remember your first muggle? My first model? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the way, what, the tape? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's on my bio on the website. So question, I was, huh? I, I had, I was living in my car and life really sucked. Living in your car? Yeah. What? Yeah. And um Yeah, let's give, give, give me a bit of a back. The, the story was pretty fucking basic, whatever. Um I lived in the car and um my grandmother had an accident. My mother and my grandmother didn't get along, and then my father had already passed away. So oh, my grandmother, so I was the next of kin. So because I was the next of kin, the state in Florida, if you are the owner of the home and something bad happens to you, the state really tries to come in and, and take all the assets. Yeah, right. And then what they do is that they say they need to, they need to dis- dissolve the assets to cover, and they basically take to cover the, the, the person's resources and put them in a home or whatever. But she, in America, we got social security, so that's supposed to be taken care of, right? right. So my mom was like, I know me and your m- grandmother don't get along, but I need you to move into her house because we need someone in the family to represent the assets and the property. Right. So... I got, and the only thing I owned, which was a Ford Focus, 2001 Ford Focus. I put my phone on the hood, I jumped in the car, I drove off, I forgot that I left the fucking phone, and uh, it was a Motorola Razor. This is in 2008. That's the, that's the flip one, isn't it? Yeah. That was a flip one. Yeah. <laughs> so I get to the house, I, I realized I didn't have any phone, and the car literally ran out of gas right into the driveway. And I remember calling my boy Gus to come meet me at the house before I had taken off. So Gus had a stuttering problem, so remember that. Cool. Rough. So we come into the house, and there was a hole in the ceiling right when you walk in, and you can see the sky. I mean, it was a big hole. So my grandmother had been neglecting the property, and I hadn't been to anyone in my family's house because I was in a bad place living in my car. And I believe, like, a lion leaves a pride, he never goes back. So I didn't go back for help. Mm. I just dealt with it. But when my mom asked me for help, I was like, all right, let me go. 
and I, I didn't want to go. It was a shit place. You flushed the toilet, pink water came out the bathtub, the house smelled like cigarettes. Yeah, no, forget that. It was like a nasty place. You know place. old people house smell like, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... You can smell the death of it. <laughs> yeah. You're fucking horrible, bro. Yeah, yeah, so there was three holes in the ceiling, <laughs> one in every bedroom and one in the, in the living room, and then one in the entrance, so the roof needed work. Mm. And I come into the house, and I fall to my knees, and I start kind of like looking up through the hole, and I'm like, what the fuck did I do to deserve all this shit? How old were you then? I was 25. Okay. It was, uh, today is the 17th year of the Black Tape Project. Today. Uh, no, that's... Yeah, yeah. What a story! Yeah. So, I walk into the house, I fall to my knees, I start crying, I'm like, what did I do? Gus opens the door, he walks in, and Gus gives me $500 cash and takes me to the store to buy a Motorola Razor. Oh, okay. I come back to the house and I get this urge to go into my grandfather's closet. This is 2008. My grandfather died in 1999. Mm -hmm. So his so closet... Like nine years later. Yeah, his closet hadn't been touched by my grandmother. So I started cleaning out my grandfather's stuff to put some of my stuff in and I found the cigar box. I open it. I'm like... I close it and Gus is like, what is it? And I started grabbing these envelopes that said January 1970, February 1970, March 1970, January 71, January, February 72, like years yeah, of right. money. Of money? $28,863 on October 18th of 2008. That was right when the credit crunch was as well. Remember when we had the... Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm throwing the money in the air. And Gus is like, thousands. I counted this shit four times. I had 16 grand in 20s. It didn't even look real from how old the bills were. You know, Gus is still there. Fuck it. So I go and I grab a thousand and I give it to Gus. This is literally a 20 minute transaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave me the money 20 minutes ago, I give him double the amount. Wow. I pay off my friend, I, I give money to my sister, give money to my mom, give money to all my friends. Mm -hmm. And then the next day I put on, on the roof. I didn't know you needed a permit, so a week later the city told me to oh, come and take the, the roof property. off. Oh, yeah. for fuck's sake. So I lost half the money by putting the roof with no permit. Oh shit. So whatever, I pay off my car, I finally get the permit, I put the same roof on. I had $3,000 in cash in my pocket with four of my ugly ass friends and we go to the bar and I'm like, why am I hanging out with your ugly asses? And I see a bachelorette party. <laughs> That's how I feel. I see a bachelorette party. <laughs> this was way before the tape. Yeah. So I see a bachelorette party and I go upstairs and I tell the bachelorette party, I was like, I'll pay for everything if you let me and my, my friends have party with you. So we partied with them, we paid for everything. And the last 1500 bucks, I buy a camera. I, uh, uh, it was a Rebel XTI. I bought it on eBay. It was like a simple. You splashed that quick, though. It, yeah. it was gone. Yeah. Yeah. That money was gone. But from a man who didn't have no money, was, <laughs> I was balling into the air, you know. I then <laughs> blew 28 grand in six days. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve to live in your car. Yeah. <laughs> so I needed, I, I needed a jump start. Yeah. Right? And the last 1500 bucks, I buy the camera. The camera gets home, and I'm like, damn, what are you into them? photography then? No. So what, what made you buy the camera? Uh, I, I had nothing else. Really? I just bought the camera. When it came to the house, it was, I was overwhelming. All the buttons, all the sensors. I'm like, what the fuck? You didn't know what you spent nothing. your money on, did you? Nothing. <laughs> within, within one month, within one month, I was published in Maxim. Yeah, so well, someone... Maxim Magazine. I started shooting all the cars and motorcycles at Hooters. Really? Getting contacts with these people. $100 mm -hmm. here, $100 there. And I just started realizing, yo, like, I could really sell my artistic services. So I've been an artist my whole life. So I started with cars. You into cars, isn't it? Cars and motorcycles. Mm -hmm. So I started shooting them, and then I went and I started working with the girls that worked at Hooters to work with me, because I used to be a professional dancer, so I knew a lot of the dancers Hooters and the girls. Hooters is that bar, right? Hooters is the, the, the chicken wing place. Right, okay. Yeah, but it's the girls that dress in the yeah, orange. Yeah, that's yeah, that's all. Yeah. And know. roller skates as well, isn't it? No, that's Sonic. Okay. No, but I swear who is they used to have Hooters, no, no. I know what you're talking, no. I know what you're yeah, thinking. Probably, they got no, orange uniforms. Yeah, but there's no, I guarantee you there's no real escape. Okay. That's a Mandela effect in your okay, mind. Okay, yeah, no, something. that's something in my head. Hold yeah. on, wait, so you was a dancer? I was a break dancer. A break dancer? So I, I, did, I was classically trained, I did ballet, I did jazz, I did uh, stilt walking, spitting fire, gymnastics, You training. did all of that shit as well? Yeah. Right. Right. So I was, I was already very comfortable with women. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're comfortable now, do I? I'm always going to be. Mm. I prefer it. That's me. It's the energy, isn't it? Yeah. I love female energy. Yeah, I prefer to be and, and the thing is, we're not pervs. We just like the... And it's, e it's easier to be an alpha around women we. than... He might not be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a you couldn't do what he does for yes, a living, could. Chris. You couldn't. I 100% could. You, could. Could. you know Chris would bite off the tape with his teeth, right? <laughs> right, by, <laughs> right by the pum pum. <laughs> Go on, this one is not breaking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I 
<laughs> stung in his mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Comes out, tapes in his yeah. face. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, I could be a pro, like, and work around women. No, honestly. You could work around women, but you couldn't oh, do this, Chris. I'm a PT, right? And you see women come with sexy things all day. As long as, look, when it's my job, one thing I've always said is, mm. in a job, I never want to be seen as a pervert hold or a on. sleazy guy. So hold that thought. Let me tell you, finish the story because yeah. it's almost done. And then we'll go to that. Get to the first. Well, yeah, we'll go to that because no, I, I have some topics that, that, thing, that yeah. I agree with him. Mm -hmm. So whatever. I did a photo shoot with a motorcycle and the mm -hmm. model that I was shooting with the motorcycle pulls out a roll of tape. And it's funny because I didn't have a pair of scissors either. <laughs> so I, 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 could, I couldn't. I couldn't. I didn't use. I didn't cut it. I just literally wrapped her like two Christmas hams. And that's in my bio. So I would never show you these pictures. I don't remember her name. I never saw her again. And then the next day... So that was the first person that you did take Yeah, it was her idea. Oh, it was but her? What that's what that was the whole thing. Out. So my father, yeah. taught, my father taught me drafting. So I was already... Uh, I, was in, I was in college level architecture when I was in high school. Okay. So I knew how to draw. I knew foundations. I knew blueprints. Oh, I knew, right. But my skill wasn't established yet, but my talent was symmetry. So I could do it by eyeing it on both sides. So I started practicing on girls. And then from, if you made scrambled eggs every day for 15 years, you're gonna come up with a million different ways to make it. Yeah. And you're gonna get real good at it. Mm. So I just got real good at it. And I was working with girls that were either dancers that knew me, models that knew me, and I was already cool with them. Yeah. So it was just easy for me to practice and practice and practice. After a couple of years of me doing it, I got called to work at nightclubs. I was charging $100 a girl, six night, three, three nights a week, six girls a night. <laughs> six girls <laughs> a night. To put tape on them. I would tape them. But the design I had to put on them was the exact same design and it had to hold dancing. They had to be able to dance all night. So this type this, of... This would not hold dancing. Right. But so I created one specific design called the standard because I had to make it every day. Right. I can do that design in four minutes. Okay. You, the whole body? The whole body in four minutes. Ross Clark. So do you make allowances it's like if they got like a tampon string hanging there? <laughs> so we have so much to talk about. <laughs> I don't know, is it? Like, yeah, so... Don't you pull it like a party popper? <laughs> so a confetti comes out their ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So whatever, I end up, whenever there's little tampon <laughs> strings or whatever, they, they, they tell me. I was like, oh, I have my period, or what do I do? I'm like, doesn't matter, just tuck it in and I... I give them a piece that they apply themselves, mm. and then I wrap it all into place. They don't really expose themselves to So me. they don't mind showing you their tuntun? No, he just they said don't. that. He they gives don't. them the tape. He makes the... He makes no, the may I talk of... about the normal lady with them not on them, period? No. They, no no matter what, I give them a piece and they apply they it, themselves. it themselves. They do it themselves. That's what I would do. See what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's an element of being professional, honestly, because one thing I'd never like... Honestly, I don't want to be desensitized. Yeah, it's a woman thinking I'm so I want to love women pervert. forever, and if I see it every day, I'm going to be sick of But let me tell you something. I appreciate Agreed. the female. Remember, you get women with pierced their clitoris. <laughs> So them let man... Sounds like a dinosaur. Why you not? Yeah. <laughs> Clitorious! It's like a country it's or true. something. And it's a profession. Uh -huh. So if, if, listen, if I'm going to put my cut in wool or your tune to me if you do it. No, pussy. <laughs> what do you mean, Noah? No, you, you, you can't. can't do it. You can't. Why? No. You can't because... I have never, ever, ever in the 17 years of doing could, this... You've never, she could do I've a, never taped the girl's vagina. She, she could do a lawsuit on you and say how you fiddle. No, yeah. it has to be consensual. What's the matter with you? Yeah, but you have to tape it. Then. So hold on, but look, it gets interesting because when I, when I give them the patch, they put it on, but to get the tape perfectly in their ass crack, I have to tell them, okay, I stand above them cool. and I tell her, hey, I'm standing above you. I'm not down there. I can't see anything, but I need you to split your cheeks so I can get the tape in between. So it's they split well, their cheeks and I go, whoop, and I just get it right into the crack. It's like, whoop, yeah, it's really yeah, fast. And great. then sometimes I have to like stick my finger in it just so I can kind of like, so what, what, in the, finger finger here. the top of the crack <laughs> to disconnect the second booty Which cheek. Crack? In one the crack. There's only one crack. How many cracks you seen? No, the tum tum crack. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> so the back is here. Pass it. Look, look. Pass it. So at the top, he pull up the thing here, and then at the top piece here. You know where the arm. Um, you know so where the, the tape. Has... If I'm going this way and the tape touches this side, I have to go like the this. tailbone. <laughs> yes, just... you, yeah. So you lift her up by her tailbone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You don't really listen. Have you ever done a woman who's got a big tailbone? <laughs> you know what the... Oh, so I take... You know, like, you know the Rottweilers when they had the, the tail clipped? I, 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 I taped a woman, I taped a woman, a woman, yeah. and I was taping her and she split her cheeks and it looked like... You ever seen a spork? No. Yes, yeah, so like right? a spoon and a fork. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know the wrapper that's inside that holds the spork? <laughs> yeah. So it looked like the wrapper was between the cheeks. I just thought she kind of like didn't notice <laughs> that she had something in between the cheeks. And I go, oh, you have something between your cheeks? And she goes, that's my penis. And I'm like... Because... 
Bro, the over. fastest I've ever whoa, knocked that in shit so quick. I was like, no, I, like it affected me. I didn't expect it. And I, knew, I, I wanted to be professional. I wanted to be professional. So I Googled her and her name is Carmen Carrera and she is a full blown tranny that yeah, still has yeah. her penis and she's taking hormones to make it Shrivel up into. No, no, is that what they do then? Yeah, I it's literally, look. it's and literally. They, tuck it, they the tuck it, and then they hide it in their so butt cheeks, take, and that's how I saw it. So you take the willy in her body. I didn't take the willy. I take the cheeks. <laughs> Whatever happened to the willy? That was there. That like, was that's, collateral. Collateral. that's collateral damage right there. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't care if it was hanging out. It was completely covered. Her booty was so. Its booty was so big you couldn't even notice it. Oh, so, oh, so, so basically she's had the the. Is she look like a woman? And her, her penis had been basically dissolved to almost nothing. Jeez, I'm bread. So what was it? Just skin? It looked like just like plastic. A plastic hood. <laughs> it looked like a plastic wrapper. <laughs> yeah, so, it must so everybody said, oh, you got the best job in the world. I'm not. <laughs> oh, I got some stories for you, brother. You know, we got... Go, 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 Pez. Go, go, go. <laughs> Oh, you ever sell a tea of a woman with a extra large clitoris? I never see the clitoris. You don't see it? He never see it. He gets them to do it, remember? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> I thought things were cut I had, a girl, I had a girl fart on me once. Just once? Once, thank God. So how much more time you want? And it wasn't like that. It for 17 years. Yeah, it was just, it was more like oh. a... Yeah, so it just breathes. Yeah. As as, you know, as soon as he parted the cheeks, yeah. <laughs> No, I was, I was working on her ankle. Yeah. I was working on her ankle, and I'll never forget it. Her name was De Niro. She was, <laughs> to be a girl. And she had, like, little paw prints and a boyfriend's name on it. She just was real gangster. Mm -hmm. And then I just hear, and I look up. I was down oh, on my knees oh, working on her ankle. Right. She never tell you something. So I look up, and I go, and I go, did you just fart on me? And she goes, you can't smell it. And I'm like, you ain't down here? Yeah. Like, so that, that was one of the experiences that makes my job not so pleasant. Yeah. And then I had another girl that she just got too excited. So I have to go. And when I put the tape from the crotch and I go oh, yeah, through the bottom to come around and reach from the back and then put it through the booty cheek. Did they get wet? Bro, they soaked me. Me blows and I mean, like, I mean, I look like a glazed donut. And I looked at her like, and, and she's like horny. blushed. She's just like, oh my she wanted God. To. Draken was like, she this. Was what is this, man? This is pussy juice, bro. <laughs> Percy would have done that, though. Yeah. No, <laughs> Percy would have been like, <laughs> no, me, no, you know what you do. You know what you do with shot. Yeah, that's what's in here. That's why I'm sitting here. That's the chunky. That was the chunky. Let me get some more. Give us some more, yeah. Uh, so when you see the juices, it turn you on? No, I'm, I'm, at that point, I didn't expect it. So I'm you like, do you pro. have a napkin? Like, I just wanted to clean my I'm arm. I'm not going to lie, I would have come with. No, she's fine. Oh, I'm she's fine. That is so sweet. Yeah, yeah. That is the sign that I turned the lady on. Said, well, well, here's the thing. The, <laughs> pro the process, yeah, the process, the, the women don't always, women aren't always wet like that from being turned on, it could just be a natural reaction from them just being there. Now, the process of getting taped is a, a bit Central, intimate. Yeah. It's a bit intimate. And there's like, like I'm close to you. Like, I, I literally tell the girls, like, are you okay? And they're like, mm. no, I've had a bad day. I was like, how do you know? I was like, I can feel your energies. Like, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm with you there, bro. Mm. Like, mm. And I don't want to tape people that are having a bad day because it fucks with my energies. And I'm yeah. trying to like, you know, so, <clears throat> yeah. like, when you see me online, I look like some prick and some diva where I'm just kind of like some... But that's just a persona that I'm trying to portray mm. as my, my, my yeah, persona, yeah, as my image. Characters. But I'm, I feel things and I have, I, I'm very considerate. And that's the one well. thing that I do more than anything else is to create a nice, neutral, safe environment. That is good. That's what I always do. For oh, shut up, Percy. He's the man who just said he's going to put the cotton wool on their pump pump himself. <laughs> Good content. What's <laughs> the matter with that? These days, you need a release form, brother. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, you get the release form, then, you did. Well, the thing is, work. people like us, though. Like, it's like me. I'm Don't the, put yourself in the same place. I'm bracket. the nicest Look guy at this in the world. Look at this one, like you're the golden type. No, but he's some golden boy. I'm the nice guy, yeah, but I get portrayed as a fuck boy. Yeah, but yeah. I'm the nice guy. I'm the nice it's guy. Okay. It's okay. Bro, so I got 900,000 followers. I can easily tell you 825,000 hate my guts. Mm, and what? then when they meet me, they're like, you know what, man? You're a really nice guy. I thought you were some arrogant prick. You're actually really cool and down me to too, earth. Bro. I'm like, so your perspective of me is just a reflection of yourself, bro. Yeah. Like, why are you hating on me? I did nothing. And you just hate me. 
Mm. Now, now, you really think but you're an artist? Jealousy. It is. That's you really what think you're an artist? Jealousy. You really think you're an artist? Job. You really think you're you think that we're here because of you? Like we're only here because the hot girls. I'm like, yo, do you, would you prefer me to tape your grandma? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you know right, what it is? Right. Sometimes people will jealous, but then watch the life you Ooh. have. And I'm like, you hate me, yet you follow me. Mm. You know, like, you see you're literally to announcing your. Of course. Of course. Of course. I'm like, you're commenting me from on the toilet at your mother's basement right now. Now, bro, yeah, and you're here bitching at me about me while I'm traveling the world with the hottest chicks in the world. Like, wait till your daughter's old enough. And then I can tape up her hood. <laughs> By then, that tape project will be done and it'll be cotton wool on there. Yeah, it's a pom-pom. Pom-pom. Repeat so, after me. Tun. Tun. Bless you. There you go. So, Ruby, how does it feel when he's applying the tape? Did it feel how you thought it was going to feel? No, it's it like like he was saying. I actually felt very comfortable because yeah. I don't. Um, I I've never like shot nude with like a photographer or anything. This would be the most like revealing thing I've ever done, like sort of in a commercial sense. Like I mean, this. you are ten. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you're telling me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, I've got to translate. Yeah, I, was, I was I was excited. Got a subtitle. This motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, man. Yeah, so you was because excited. Because he's he's reputable. Obviously, worked with lots of huge models. So I was like, you're not going to get very far if you are a pervert, so yeah. I wasn't worried yeah. or anything, but I was still naturally quite nervous. I was a bit like, ooh, you know, when I came out. But then as soon as I stopped the taping, it was quick, it was professional, there was no... It was, and, yeah. and it feels very, like, it feels like I'm wearing an outfit. That's, that's what I was going to say. While, like, while, while, I'm taping, <laughs> while I'm taping, I feel their eyes. They're watching my eyes. Yeah. And I can feel their eyes, so I don't. I try not to make eye contact. You're highly emotionally intelligent. <laughs> I try not is. to make eye contact for two reasons. One, because I don't want them to, to feel uncomfortable when uh -huh. I make eye contact, and two, I'm not trying 100. to get them to fall in love or to for me to fall in love. Right, yeah, you know, yeah. so I'm just like, alright, just keep it pro. Well, it didn't feel like you were worried either, which I think is good. It felt like you, you, you know, oh, I've done this a billion times. Yeah, yeah. I'm not worried. Mm -hmm. I know everything's fine. But she you sees know? it in my eyes. I'm not looking at her body. I'm looking at. The, the levels, the, the tape. tape, the symmetry, yeah. where I'm going. And I'm I'm like, I literally step away and I'm like looking at the just center at the points. Arc. Yeah. Me, so, yeah. Me would have looked at the body. You see <laughs> there. You would have x-rayed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have looked at the spine from yeah. the front. <laughs> you would have looked. Look you would have looked at her liver. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. That's one the yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, and that is why I do what I do, and you and don't, you do my what friend. You do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, because my company is coming out very shortly. We do something else. Don't worry yourself. <laughs> so, so how did you? This is what I don't understand. What? How did you get into doing this? Because it's not a, it's not a natural thing to. Yeah. So I called it the Black Tape Project once I started getting a lot of people asking me to do it. But it wasn't a lot. It was just enough for me to like, okay, let me give it a name. But I didn't give it a name thinking it was gonna last. I just gave it a name like yeah. Black Tape Project, not like. This is a this is a new. Because I use I use different colors. Yeah. I would have if I would have thought I was gonna use different colors, I would have called it something else. So then when I started getting booked to do dancers, I was like, damn, I got a job, right? Then I went to Haiti and I taped Genesis, who was a former Miss Puerto Rico for a charity called the JB Foundation. And that video got 10 million views overnight on Facebook. Right. Sex. I didn't know Facebook could hit 10 million yeah. views overnight. So that means your numbers is crazy. Everyone's the next day, The guy. next day, I'm getting Fuck. calls and emails from New York Fashion Week, Miami Swim Week, LA Fashion Week, Maxim, New York Post, the LA, the, LA, the Post, the Daily, Daily Mail, the UK Jeez. Daily Mail, the UK Daily Post. You must have been gassed. I was like, happy I was more, fun. not really, I was more happy when the money started coming in. Mm. And I was like, okay, the job. You and him are like See? the same person, you know? I, I don't care to. about, I'm, I, I'm I wanted this, to pay bills. This is the future me. That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> Why are you taking so long? Please, God, no. I'm jealous, I'm jealous of him. <laughs> we're going so, to see Chris at B&Q tomorrow. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> I just finally let you go tape. <laughs> when you got in the stock room. <laughs> yeah. So I taped, a lot of, I taped a lot of girls at the beginning using tape from Home Depot, mm -hmm. which is a hardware store. And then when you would take the tape off, and imagine the tape is off, but the glue is still on. Oh. That's right, yeah. I mean, I, I messed up a lot of people's bodies because I didn't know. So well, I started you experimenting the yeah. on different tapes, and then I make my own tape now. But in 2012 was when I went, in 2012 I went viral. 2013 was my first trip to Ibiza. Right. And somebody had booked me to Ibiza, and they said, we'll pay you 100 euros per girl, six girls a night, three Ooh. nights a week. What? 
taping at Eden, which was the same job I had in Miami. That's right. 1,800 1800 euros a week. Yeah, so, and they'll house me and accommodate me, and, and they let me bring two American girls. Yeah. So when I go to get paid the first day, I do my job the first night, the next day I go to get paid, and I walk into the office, and I see all these kids my age all crying. Everyone's crying, and I'm yeah. like, what the fuck's going on? So I walk into the office, and the guy goes, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. And he slides the money over, and I'm like, this is only 120. He goes, yeah, I'm paying you $20 per person instead of $100 per person. What happened? Sorry. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Sorry. That's going to be loud. Yeah, so you're like, oh, 600 euros. So I get, no, 120 euros. Oh, yeah, 120 euros. I get 120 instead of the 600. Yeah. And he goes to me, because I know you can't afford to get home, you're going to get paid 20 euros per pearl. Oh, fuck. And I'm not going to pay for your food. And you're going to stay here for the summer because you have no other choice. And you stayed? So because he doesn't know that I come from a Cuban family and yeah. there's nothing that he could do to me that Castro hasn't done already. <laughs> <laughs> I go back to the villa and I tell the girls, pack their shit. So Cuban. Wow. Yeah. And he walks up. This is a big black guy. Uh, and I knew he was a martial artist because me and him had spoken about it. And he stood in front of the door and he wouldn't let me out. So I grab all my luggage, I throw it off the balcony, and I jump off the balcony, and I fall into a chicken pen. And I grab all my bags, and I start dragging them out of the chicken pen. You see all the poop on shit all over my bags. I'm going down the cobblestone, dig, 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 to the main highway. And one of the spectators from the party the night before saw me. He goes, hey, aren't you the tape guy? And I go, yeah. He goes, what are you doing here? He goes, this guy's trying to extort me. I'm not having it. He goes, you know what? Get in my car. I get in his car, and he takes me to his villa in uh, the top floor of a beautiful villa in the top of Ibiza town. He was a, a concierge. His oh. wife was a fucking hairstylist, and he helped me develop my first deck. And he pitched my deck to everyone in Ibiza. Within, like, a month, I was working all over Ibiza. So it's like, the story everything wasn't... Everything happened for everything, a reason. Everything was like, okay, let's go. Oh, shit. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. And mm. then it started just kind of like... Wow. So as long as you don't quit, because most people just, like, give up. That was one yeah. of the many... <laughs> You know, so you just inspire me. No, that's mad, you know? Yeah. You when we get my garden of Eden. <laughs> Eden. 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 With an right? H. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to have a little part where I'm going to decorate the morelde with the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it? I can see it. Visualize it. You have to take one tree bark and just tie it around and nipple them. Mm -hmm. Take a little leaf and carry up and marry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you laughing for Chris? This is, you know, so the man making millions from selling it here. Yeah, but you're... But... <laughs> what, what, is, what is going on here? What am I laughing for? I'm a laugh dreamer. But you know what's mad, though? I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, Purse. Mm -hmm. If you had told me that this is what you was going to do to make money, I would have laughed back then as Everyone well. Everyone yeah. laughed. Everyone you think was about like, it? You would have laughed as well? One of the funniest things I still get is like, how long do you think this is going to last? I'm like, I never thought I was going to start, bro. Like, mm. once I saw that the money was coming in, I had to incorporate. Mm. I couldn't just be a kid with a backpack full of tape. I had to create a business. Yeah. Mm. So I was selling my services, but I wasn't making money until I made my own tape. Mm. Then the residual Oh, you make your one tape? Yes. I make about half a million a year selling tape with no promo. Me back foot. On my Instagram. I just post the tape and people buy my tape. So what, did, what, what? So people were like couples buy it or? Everyone. In every might, country. You might need to use your tape, facility of the, the Couples, leaves. makeup artists, hairstylists, costume designers, photographers, people that want to go to Burning Man, fetish people, uh, sexy Burning girls. Man, that's that place in that, Vegas. The Desert Festival. Yeah, yeah so Vegas. there's a lot of like different you know reasons. That? There's many different reasons <laughs> that people buy that. tape. Tell me, I'm a researcher. And then, I mean, I'm selling tape in Guyane. I'm selling tape in Tokyo. I'm selling tape in Germany. I'm selling tape in Iceland. I'm selling tape in Colombia. Shit. Like, like, I sell tape in 130 countries. So you've patented patented. So yeah. that's like saying I invented painting and no one else could paint. Yeah. yeah. So you can't so patent the tape. Yeah, okay, so did I, you patent I, the formula? So the, the, the formula is basically Band-Aid adhesive. So I can't really patent yeah, that either. Yeah, you can't really patent it. It's but the colors on it. my adhesive are unique and they're hard to find. Most people use hula hoop tape and then when they use my tape, they can feel the difference. So I have competitors and I have imposters. Okay. And most of these guys learn from my shit because they want to be like person. Well, so you are the first. I am. I I invented this. All right. So I, give me some big names you've taped up. Then have you taped up any big names? Um, Cardi B. 
Shut the fuck up. Cardi B, you tape No, show me you tape of that cotton. This is why her and Offset mash up. Cameraman showed me. Cameraman showed me. Chris, if you make them mash up. Him and her and Offset mash up because of him. It's your fault, bro. Why? She said that she slept with someone while she was... I'm taping Cardi B while Offset's watching us on the phone. I'm like, what up, bro? That's a cuckold business. Now you watch your girl get taped up and you just sit there. We play with your dreadlocks. Look, that's Sierra. Sierra. Ross Clark. Oh, Sierra as well. Yeah. And Summer Walker, yeah. Yeah, and then I did Cardi B here. What the fuck? Cardi B. Oh, man. Yes, I remember that. Do you remember that? Let me see a video from a music video. Cameraman, throw that in, yeah? Yes. Throw in these little quick clips here. Um, I was in the movie Pain and Gain. You was in Pain and Gain? No, with, um, I got into an argument. Yeah, yeah, I, got, I got an argument with, with Michael Bay, so he only put like a half a second of my shit. Ah, uh, really? I want it to look like the 80s, and I'm like, well, the shoe was invented in the 2000s. Oh, like, he was in that? Yeah. Wicked, the wicked. Stripper, the strip club scene. Yeah, I can't remember yeah. all of it, though, yeah, but so I mean, it's just like a it was about like the a, PT. I and... did almost every video from Rick Ross. I did Ice Cold. Uh, I did uh, you know something? You should have taken up Rick Ross's breast. Roll the muffler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I have to pick him up. No, Big roll the muffler. How many women have your tear pump since you started? Over 15,000. 15,000? 15, so, so, Rubes, what, what made you want to uh, do Chris, this? Chris, it's Ruby Doobs. All right, Ruby, Ruby Doobs. <laughs> what made you want to do this then as well? Um... You just want to take off your clothes. <laughs> 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 no, no, not at all. I was like, actually... Well, you see? Since you drink the drink, no, you can't understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you see? There you go. Um, The fact mm. that so many different types of women want to work with him, they'll be quite conservative models. We'll go, do you know what? I'll do it for this. They'll be OnlyFans models, they'll be full on porn stars, they'll be mm. musicians. Yeah, so I, I, I walk a fine line of adult and high fashion. Yeah. And, and it makes art. it very cool. It makes it very like this is tasteful and this is adult, but this is like mature and it's not vulgar. It's yeah. not. It's not like... A bit classy, it's classy. Yeah, and it's like, it's classy alternative. It's Don't get me wrong, it could get ratchet, because then I'll get the, I'll tape, you know, like a bunch of strippers and then they start twerking all night. Mm. But and then I'll get flown out by a shake in Dubai and I'll tape a Lamborghini and I'll charge 20 grand, 30 grand. This is your a... special gift, you know that? Mm. You charge 30 grand to tape a Lamborghini? Yeah, let me show you. I don't understand. Look, like, come tune, tune to hexos. You mate. know the man that got money just to throw away. That's like five. But why would you take? Why would you take? Uh, if uh, somebody up here for do it, do it. But what the tape stays on the car? Five years. Oh, I put yeah. a PPF on it. Wow. And a warranty. This is crazy. Look at this. That's so... Why didn't I discover this job? So I stay with the car for a week. Yeah. So I get to know the car and like the I, lines, I treat I treat the car just like a girl. So I'm gonna fast forward a bit. Yeah. And I mean, like, I tape it piece by piece. It takes me about 40 hours. Well, now when do you get paid that money? Jeez. So then when I'm done... That looks proper. And then I do the videos, oh my too. God. Right. That, that, that looks proper, yeah, that looks yeah, proper. Yeah. Alan, let's see, can... Yeah, press, look, can you see it? Yeah, mommy, can I see it? Yeah, you gotta send that... Can you send that video to the cameraman so he can put yeah. up little clips of what you do? Wow. That's a twenty thousand dollar job, and they still need to wrap it and then PPF it on their own. I only charge the twenty gauge just to put my part. That is art, art. Yeah. I've done, I've done spiders, I've done uruses, I've done aventadors, I've done all types of. Oh uh, yeah. But they all have to. Get I only do Bugatti, super I want you to tear up my Bugatti as well. Are you going to put cotton buds on? But it's like. Just not get king. No more the drink. <laughs> you know something? I think I find me first. Me first muggle. Yeah. See Ruby Doobs here. Yeah? <laughs> 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 but then, then, like, I can show you. This is like a, another day in my life, which is the more ratchet stuff. Oh wow. Oh, how do I get into that bit of life? But that, I'm not... <laughs> Chris, you're calling. It's not See, ratchet, it's She just... ain't even got no tape on. You're taking the piss drafts. <laughs> <laughs> she had the tape in her hand. <laughs> look, 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 this is, this is the man. That's the man? That's the man. Are you serious? Oh, no, wait, 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 no. Can I go? No, just no. look, Chris. You would have never that, known. I Why, are you looking? Know. Why are you looking for? I wouldn't know that was a man. You oh, wouldn't? No, I wouldn't. You would not have known. Oh, no, wait, no. So you see her hand and it could grip your whole head? No, you wouldn't know that was a man. 
Like, the back of the fingertips would have been to the back. You would have known that was a man. No. I say, just look. No, no, see them thing. Just educate. Educate yourself. No, no. It's for protection. That would make me feel insecure after him. Yeah, she's like six feet tall. Like, she's massive. Yeah, she looks. Just show me the Marelle them. All right, so everybody say goodbye to Ruby Doobs. Ruby, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Careful with your movie. Tag us, tag us tomorrow on your on any of your cool interviews. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so make sure you tag us. Yeah, or in your storyline. And least. if you can make this last till tomorrow, do the interview on the How tape. How do I get home in this? Just put on your clothes on top. Ruby, You'll be you never right. wipe your back good. That's <laughs> 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 going to be stiffening. <laughs> 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 me? Chris is like, Chris is like. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Ruby. Right, okay, See you later, Ruby. Thank Thank you. You. Nice to meet you too. You it's mad that they've only just Love met to me. Too. I know. Yes, man. But, that, but that's what I'm saying. That's why it's good with women. It's the energy, you know? People are okay. size. Go on, man. Just don't be shy. <laughs> Oh Wait, hold on. Can I, can I, just, can I just let him tape your arm real quick? Mike, oh, go on, yeah. yeah. Oh, what? Chris is gonna do it. Go, on, Chris. Oh yeah, yeah, just yeah. Shoes off. Am I gonna t do some taping? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me do a bit of tape. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Across the table. Oh yeah, maybe across the table. Yeah. What touch you? Huh? What? Right, and the chef is going to cook. We are going to cook as well. You yeah, are right. Ah, they thought it was bedtime. He was like, All right, so so where am I taping? So I'm going to show you what yeah. I'm going to do to her, okay. and then you're going to do the same. No problem. Right. I got you. So just give me your arm out. Okay. Right, so, mo you. so most people will kind of like be applying, and then they're like so technical, and uh -huh. they're pushing really tight, and then they give them a mission and man vibe. No. Uh -huh. So the idea is that you kind of like just let the tape. Do the work. Do the work. So you no, just apply it. I did it And just let it swing across. Light work. A little bit of tension, not too much, and then you try to meet it on the other end. And then give cut. it a little bit and then cut. But now most people will be like, they'll put the piece of tape and then they'll kind of like forget how to they'll meet across. So the idea cut. is that you just want just nice and light. Yeah, nice and light. Just go all the way across. Okay. Meet on the other end. And then cut. And then you snip. Mm -hmm. Now we're here. I'm yeah. keeping the same distance, and that's what keeps my tape beautiful. Same. Distance, and that's what keeps my tape beautiful. Same. It's not where I put the tape. It's the spacing in between. The yeah, negative space is what makes it nice. Right. So if you want to come over here and give it a shot. Bro, <laughs> bro. Let's do this. Because you know this money. Because if she don't. leaves and you got a tape, purse you, and that's not even Just tear Put All your right. boots behind it, buddy. <laughs> Watch him. Today. Yes, yeah, you yeah, use your eyes. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. <laughs> but you notice, but hold on, but what? Did you see? I never touched her. <laughs> yes, you oh, never. See, I, I never I, touched I, her. That's what makes the process, I think, feel so comfortable. So comfortable. Well. Yeah. All like right, me now I'm going to touch her, Ruby. Don't worry about that. Take your so time. You do that. Yeah. Just... Cool. Touch the tape, not her. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And let it. Yeah. Wait, wait, the yep, chairs yep. in the move, way. move a little that way. Yeah. 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 No, flow. keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it nice oh, and even. Keep it tight, tight. Yeah. Come on, yeah. you don't have to I touch it. I don't touch hold your hand for you. Okay. I'm yeah. touching the tape. I'm yeah. touching the tape. Yeah, touch it. Pay attention to the other side. And where's it gonna meet? Yes, sir. You, want to move? you just gotta let it feel. You just got you, 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 you don't know where it's gonna be. No, once need... it go, cut off Ruby's arm. Take your time, please. Take your time. There you go, go on, Chris. There you go, Chris. You get me? It's it. I'm already made for this job, I'm telling you. I, you just got a lot of female feels, you know what I mean? Good job. Thank you so much, Thank, thank you. you, Ruby. Yeah, big up yourself. Thank you. Thank you. I give Ruby a round of applause, thank everybody. You, thank you. Now don't put that talk to us. Check out wife, I'm about to know. <laughs> but do you know, I find, I find you fascinating. As a person, if you hear about his story yeah. from where you came from, all the things that you've been through, mm -hmm. if you knew it was going to lead you to where you are now, would you have still gone through all the things you went through? Honestly, I have... I don't think of my future that way. Yeah. And this wasn't easy. Yeah. I mean, like, I've gone through some shit. Yeah. I've been held hostage in Africa, beaten. I've been exploited by the Balinese government. What? I was crippled two years ago, October 13th, last, two years ago. I, 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 I met a girl that I fell in love with. I put her as the face of New York Fashion Week. 
I traveled the world with her for two months. I took her everywhere around the world. I come back to America. I find out she was a gymnast, so I go back to gymnastics just to reevaluate, right? I'm jumping on the trampoline, and I hear the trampoline break. Bang! The whole room stops, and they turn around, and they're all looking at the sound that they heard. When I look down, trampoline's fine. The bilateral patellus tendon on both my legs snapped. The sound you heard was my legs. My kneecaps were in here. And I was crippled, and I had to learn how to walk again. Let me tell you something. Hold on, I'm almost done. All right, go ahead. So, and then, when I ended up realizing that now I have to keep my legs straight for, like, six months, and I knew that I didn't have enough friends that really gave a fuck to help me put on my underwear, put on my socks, help me fucking walk, sit on the toilet, any of that shit. Mm -hmm. I call her and I tell her what happened, she leaves me. So now I'm heartbroken with a broken body, and it's really hard to heal. So now I'm stuck in my own jail. You're in your head. In my couch, in the same spot. I did kundalini, I did witchcraft, I did breath work, I did neurowave therapy, Juju. physical therapy. I did whatever the fuck I could to walk, right? So I'll send you the video later. So after like six months, I started walking and I just kept walking and walking, listening to one song over and over and over again, visualizing my revenge. And I do, vin- I, do, I do vindictive art. I used to have a company called Venge Media. My b-boy name used to be Venge. My chest says victory is my vengeance. Okay. So I don't want to hurt you, but I will hurt you with my art, and my success will piss you off. Okay. Rasta. Okay. <laughs> 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 I've had enough bad luck in the past three weeks. I had a doctor put his finger on my butt about two weeks ago. So, All right, good, cool, so cool, good, carry on. I invited the girl, I invited the girl after, after and then, my mom comes over to my house and she sees it in my eyes and I'm ready, I'm ready to go. I don't want to be here anymore. I had planned my, my suicide. I was going to try to keep it clean so that my mom that could get her back. Yeah, and then oh, hold on, wait. Sorry to cut my you. sister had just died from COVID. So I, my mom comes to my house and this is, I call the girls dragons. My mom is a dragon eating lion. This lady is the most strong woman I've ever met and fears nothing. And I saw the fear in her eyes for the first time. So I knew I had to save my body, but I had to eliminate Joel Alvarez, which that was, was my own name. name. Yeah. Okay. So I installed fangs in my eye, in my mouth. Yeah, because I was thinking they. they but probably, I'm not gonna lie to I you. I thought they were installed. I've been looking at his teeth for the whole thing. Saying, yeah, I thought they were installed. But yeah. So I, then I went to Barcelona and I removed the brown from my eyes. Look. Really? We've, been, we've been talking about this, Chris. Look at my eyes. They're gray. Think... You can see the ring in my eyes. The oh, brown yeah. ring, you... but my eyes are gray. Why did you take it out? Because I'm trying to remove everything that represented Joel. You trying to kill off Joel? So and then instead of killing Joel, I killed the persona and I reinvented myself as Drakan. Was this before the black tape? How long have you been doing black tape? Uh, 17 years. This was two years ago. So you all had success? I had success and I was crippled. Fuck. And then you. the girl left me and I was like, fuck this, bro. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. And then when I saw the fear so in my mother's eyes, I was like, the only way I could save this body is if I eliminate Joel. I thought Joel was a bitch. Yeah. So, so was it the girl that made that, that spark that? Well, no, it was him, her leaving him, not yeah, helping him back in his recovery. Yeah. It's not like I could stop the girl. I couldn't yeah. move. See, I just needed, I, she never once checked on me, never asked me, hey, how you doing? I she mean, never like, loved you then. completely See, out of sight, out of mind. Turn you different. Right? So Fuck. every lesson, listen to me. I went to school, I'm educated. I mean, I could do anything with my hands. I traveled a lot and I learned a lot, but every real lesson as a man that I've ever learned was from a woman. Wow. And what did you, what was you asking earlier, Pers? You, eh? you said something earlier before when he crippled, when he... Let me give you a little lesson. When it come to the woman, Merrell them, never you fall in love. Stand up, you know what I mean? Because when you fall, you're going to hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so, Joe loves, Jakan doesn't. So, right. going to... Change your name. I, yeah, so I, I changed my name, and I remember I, I, I perfected the new man, right? And I kept walking to the same song, and I knew I was going to do the New York Fashion Week in February. This was October. October, November, January, February. In February, I do New York Fashion Week, and I invite the girl, and I say, hey, I need your help taping. And you hadn't spoken to her? No. And she goes, you really want me to come help you tape? And she taped herself one day and she showed a lot of promise. Yeah. So I was like, why don't you come and help me tape because you're really good at taping. Okay, great. So she helped me tape 70 girls for the fashion show. But she had no idea that the whole show was dedicated to her. <laughs> but she knew it, no? No, this is something that Chris would do. <laughs> so hold on. No, so hold on. Hold on, let me 
having it. So the, fir- the first song is um, <laughs> um, uh, from Linkin Park, the one that said, um, I did it all for nothing. I thought that you, have to, you will have to sing it. I'll send you the video and you'll yeah, see it. Yeah, yeah. So I come out, the first song, and I tell, I tell her, thanks for helping me tape. I need you to sit front row and hold my jacket. She goes, why do you need me to sit front row? I'm like, because in the middle of the show, I'm going to ask you for my jacket and I'm going to switch my outfit on stage. She goes, okay. So the first music comes out and it's like this song that literally says, you abandoned me, you left me, no one gave a fuck and you did this, right? But no, no one in the audience knows no. who it's about except for her, right? So and then the first segment comes out and I had just created my body chain collection. And I created the body chain collection to break the chain of the pain that I was going through. What a god show. Right, so check this out. <laughs> Vindic- vindictive art. Mm. So the second part was I changed my outfit and I have my braces on. I put on, I, I took the braces off because I started her walking. Yeah. I put the braces on for the show. So she didn't know you could walk? She knew I could walk because I had already healed. Oh, okay. But I wasn't perfect. But you I put the braces on the for the show. Okay. And everyone was like, why is he wearing the braces? So. The second part of the show, the music stops and I start to speak. I had no intention of doing New York Fashion Week, but last year I met a girl that I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with, and I hurt myself and I got crippled. When I needed help the most, this person abandoned me and it made me realize that I was walking the fine line of death, and the only way I could fix it myself is to bury Joel here and now. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm here to fucking teach her a lesson. (laughs) (laughs) And next thing you know, from this day forward, I will be known as Dracon Blackheart. Joel Alvarez is buried on this stage. I take my braces off and I walk up to her. She's sitting next to Vogue. I hand her the fucking braces. Now everyone knows that she's the one I'm talking about. She's in tears. I have the video. (laughs) Joel, you're all bad, man. (laughs) And then I put my jacket on and I leave the venue. I leave the fashion and it's your show. your show? No. Now the chains are coming out. So you left the show before it started? I left the show before the I show just started. Left the, the... Are you still getting PFE? <laughs> yeah. What the hell you with She must have said, you're such a douchebag. No, she called me, she goes, is this what you invited me here for? You're and I said, a thousand percent. And she goes, this is some cruel shit. <laughs> three, mo- three months later, well. she called me crying. And you go, what's wrong? And she goes, I just want to apologize to you. I go, why are you apologizing to me? I'm like, because no one has been there for me in the last three months. All right, let's be honest, like though. Like how I wasn't there for you. All right, so let's be honest. Where you're coming oh, from. Can we be honest? That's what you wanted her to do, innit? Some petty shit. Yeah, yeah. to apologize that to you, innit? It, it, it made you smile. And she said, oh, apologize. Mm. For what? But you was happy, though, innit? How could you abandon a person that meant nothing but good? You didn't have to be my girl, but at least be like, you all right? Do you need some? Can I bring you a fucking coffee? That, that is really when you know who's there for you. That no, really no, it wasn't her. It was But for you to do a whole show, end. don't yeah. track. You must I would have done just... 10 shows. But that's what I said. That must have really burnt you. I, and you're all like listening to the same song. I would walk two miles a day like this with the braces on. Just over two there. miles a day listening to the same song that I played on that stage. With your kneecaps next to your testicles. Vi- visualizing. <laughs> visualizing <laughs> the show. <laughs> no, my kneecaps were already in place. My leg bent all the way back. Yeah. <laughs> I, look, I was stepping like a flamingo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my legs were flamingo now. I'm like this up. I'm like this on the corner. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So, so it's like. If people knew how much of my heart I put into the shows, they yeah. would realize that this isn't about the girls. Right. The girls are the ticket to get your attention. Mm. But I'm still showing you my art, regardless if you believe in it or not. Mm. You can hate me all you want, think I'm whatever, but if I'm getting half a million dollars in tape sales, $20,000 in a tape of car, I charge $1,000 to apply tape on one girl. Mm. Like, I'm doing all right. I retired my family. Yeah. I could quit now, I don't need to work anymore. Just sell tape. Sick. Fucking it, man. So you do um, the Paradise. Um... Yeah, so the Paradise Challenge started as the Black Tape Project in Paradise. So there's a nude resort in Jamaica called Hedo. Hedonism! Chris has been there. I have been there, yeah. Oh, you haven't been there? No, I'm going to go, though. I want to go. I've been, to I've one been in there Mexico. 30 times. I've been to one, oh, in... Okay, I've been to one in Mexico. I would love to come. That is shit. 30 times. Huh? So I would love to come to that, yes. Hedo. He didn't invite you, Chris. Oh. He didn't invite you, Chris. He <laughs> 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 He was just telling his story. <laughs> hey, Hito, <laughs> Hito, listen to me. Mexico, yeah, you can walk around naked. Hito, I mean, anything and everything goes. Okay, well, um, 
I don't mind a discount, something. You know, you and the man say anything and everything goes. Yes. Yeah. But anything I'm still and going, everything goes. But, but you don't have to. So partake. I was invited to do tape for the nudists and the swingers. So I brought 15 girls. Sign up to our patron. Let me just explain to you. You get all of those episodes full. in full. So you get the whole hour and a half, two hours, two hours, 15. You get bonus episodes as well. All of them are on there from the beginning up until now. There's going to be, oh, actually, we're going to be doing our live shows as well coming up soon in theatres. Mm. Do you mean live in theatre? Live, we're going to be live. We're going to the cinema. Yeah, it's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> cinema. <laughs> theatre. And then, so, and but with that, when you sign up to the Patreon, you will get first options to buy tickets. So basically, you sign up. First you get, dibs, isn't it? Yeah, first dibs. So then you'll be able to, you'll be in the same building as Uncle Percy. Can you imagine? <laughs> Thanks for supporting, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, people. All right, all right. Big up for your TTT. Every Sunday we show you.